Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use your Vitamin C and Cosrx Advanced Name using Power Essence. Now the order of application primarily depends on the formulation that you are using because there are several formulations available when looking into a Vitamin C product. Now I have prepared for you some examples so that you then can remember them. The first example would be what if you have a water-based vitamin C zeromatome, well then this is what the order of application would look like. You can see some examples that I have picked that you most likely have at home, but if not, if you have a different one that refers to this, you can still follow the same guide. So the water-based vitamin C zeromatome refers to, if you can see on the ingredients, this it contains water. Those are usually extremely lightweight in texture, therefore in that sense you can use your vitamin C zone before applying the snail essence. So that it can effectively absorb into the skin and then you're going to follow with hydration afterwards. However, what if you have an anhydrous solution or oil formulation as in a vitamin C zone? Well, in that sense, the order of application is going to change and you can see that you then would use the snail essence at first and then follow with your anhydrous solution or oil formulation. Now, the most popular ones would be from the ordinary, as you can see in my examples. So anhydrous solutions means basically that they are water free. So when checking the ingredients list, you wouldn't find the ingredient water in it. And in that sense, you know that you're working with an anhydrous solution. So this can be ascorbic acid plus alpha butin or the ethylated ascorbic acid solution, or they even have an oil, which would be their tetraisopalmitate. So again, in that same sense, it's a water free formulation. You would use it after the snail essence. And then the last example that I have prepared for you would refer to vitamin C creams. Now they still can be treatments, so called serums, um, but the texture is going to change. So you can see I have picked the Inkis list as well as the ordinary vitamin C suspensions. They have a thicker texture and in that sense again you would use it after the snail essence so that it layers well and that you won't come across any like uncomfortable feelings when doing the application. And so in that sense you have your different formulations as well as then the adjusted order of application. Now you will be able to find the entire example slides in a PowerPoint in the description box down below. Now again, remember that if you are working with a vitamin C zone that's water-based, use it before applying the snail essence. If you are working with an anhydrous solution, oil or cream, use it after the snail essence. And so I now want to get started with a little demonstration so that you can see this visually as well. And I believe I'm going to go with the most common ones, which would be working with a water-based vitamin C zone. So you can see the setup right here of my example routine, and I'm going to go through it and show you the application step by step. Now we are going to get started with the first step, which is washing your face using a suitable cleanser that's working well for your skin type so that you can properly remove any excess oil, dirt and sweat from the skin, even maybe light makeup and or sunscreen. And of course in the evening you could go ahead and use an oil or balm cleanser instead. Now if you want to know how you can do this, how you can do the double cleanse, I have a video for you in the top right corner. Now you can go ahead, wash your face above the sink or in the shower. I'm now going to do the demonstration about of the sink. So I have two examples right here. If you should have a different cleanser that works well for you, go ahead and exchange it. Just make sure to read on the back of the packaging on how you should use it. Now I'm going to use Cetaphil's Daily Facial Cleanser. Right here it mentions that I should apply to wet skin. So those are the instructions that I'm going to follow. Now when working with water, my suggestion would be using lukewarm water to warm water so it feels comfortable on the skin and that you can properly remove it from the skin. But before you're getting started with washing your face, please make sure that you're working with clean hands. If they aren't clean, wash them at first and then head into your cleansing step. So let's go ahead and do this. Use about a pump, maybe half a pump, depending on how much comes out, or about a coin size amount. So about that much. Rub it between your hands and then gently massage it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute, making sure that you're not getting it into your eyes nor into your mouth. Thank you. 
So once you have massaged it all over your face and neck, you now can go ahead and again rinse it off with lukewarm water to slightly warm water. Now when doing this above the sink, I like to splash some water onto my face and neck to get most of it off. And then what I can recommend is using those makeup microfiber cloths, which are extremely gentle on the skin and effective in removing any last traces of cleanser, maybe sunscreen, makeup, excess oil dirt and sweat from the skin. So they can really help you, especially when doing this above the sink to properly get everything from the skin. Take your washcloth and wet it. And now squeeze it out. And use it to gently swipe over your face and neck. And now rinse again. And once you have properly rinsed off your cleanser from the skin, you now can go ahead and take a clean towel and gently pat all over to remove the remaining water drops on the skin's surface. This is an important step. Doesn't matter if you're using your vitamin C product at first or snail essence at first. Please make sure that you're going to properly remove it from the skin. So, and once you're done with your cleansing step, you now can go ahead and head into the next step. So again, in this example, I'm working with water-based vitamin C zones. Therefore, I'm going to use them before applying the snail essence. But of course, remember again, if you're working with an anhydrous solution or oil or cream, it would be the other way around. So as an example, I'm going to use ordinary ascorbyl glucoside solution. If you have a different one, replace it. I have in my example routines a general guide based on how much you would use in that sense you can go with about like four to six drops for your face and neck you can always start off with like a little bit and then if you feel like it's not enough if you want to include your neck you can add two drops more then massage it between your hands and then evenly blend it all over your face and neck making sure not to use it on top of your eyelids nor getting it too close to the actual eye as well as not getting it into your eyes nor into your mouth Now, if you have picked the right amount, especially when it comes to the water-based vitamin C zones, it should absorb quickly into the skin. So while blending, you may already notice that it starts to absorb into the skin, which is a good sign. Please do not overdo it with the amount of product that you're using. Usually with anhydrous solutions or oils, this takes a bit longer. But you can always, with your water-based vitamin C zones, give it about 30 seconds to a minute in between, just to make sure that everything has properly absorbed into the skin before heading into the next step. Now, in case you now have used your snail essence at first because you have an anhydrous solution or oil vitamin C product at home or even cream, then in that sense you may want to wait between one to two minutes in between because it takes quite some time until it somewhat has absorbed into the skin. So this is where the waiting time in between is going to change a slightly bit. So now I'm going to head into Cosarex Snail Essence. So that one has a pump, so you can go with about one to two pumps for your face and neck. And I'm going to go with one pump because one pump spreads evenly all over and I may just want to make sure that I'm not going to overuse it so that it can absorb like, blend, like beautifully into the skin as well. So, and once you have applied it all over your face and neck, again, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off and then just give it a moment so it can absorb into the skin. Now, it's completely fine to stop already right here. It's completely fine to use your vitamin C and snail essence on its own. Like, you do not need to follow with a moisturizer afterwards. This primarily depends on how much hydration your skin actually needs. And if you have a drier skin type which cannot hold on to hydration, well, then, of course, you can go ahead and now follow with a moisturizer afterwards. 
or during daytime if you have sudden exposure then my suggestion would be following with a sunscreen afterwards so that you can protect it but if you can my suggestion would be using your vitamin c in the evening to make sure that you can keep all the benefits now this is basically the little example routine that I want to share with you, keeping the main focus towards the vitamin C and the snail essence so that you can see the proper application and have like an idea of how much time you can wait in between so that it layers properly. Now when it comes to my entire PowerPoint uh, with, with the example slides that I have already presented to you just earlier, you will be able to find everything in the description box down below, including some, some overall general tips when working with skin care products when setting up a skincare routine you have a sunscreen guide as well as an application and removal guide plus you can see what products I have picked in case you are curious you will be able to look them basically up see a little description next to it for whom they are suitable what they can do for you and then based on that if you want to check them out you can go ahead and do so but this is everything that you will find in my PowerPoint so if you want to download it again you will find it in the description box down below now this is the overall general guide demonstration that I want to share with you. I do hope that now the confusing part has become much clearer and that you now know how you can use your products when trying this out at home. If you enjoyed this video, if you find it helpful, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And if you now want to learn more about skincare, you want to see different applications, I'm going to leave some of the videos at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.